It's about 17, 18 years ago, we were required to cut a lot of shapes out of flat stock material. And in order to have consistency and do the job for an OEM, I bought a small water jet, a four foot by eight foot water jet. The main reason that I decided to use a water jet is because the uh, friction material that we were cutting uh, would catch fire with a laser or a plasma. Uh, water jet is the only way to cut it. And so we've got a, a nice arrangement, a nice uh, array of machinery People expect you to be good if you're superior, right? And uh, so I've always invested a lot of money in the company and back into the company to make sure that we had the best equipment, which is part of the reason leading up to our newest investment with KMT, because we we see the need that we have to do things better, faster, more accurately, and. Uh, uh, what we found with the with what the KMT has done for us in their pumps and in their cutting heads, uh, both uh, has increased our production and our accuracy and our quality. And it was just the right move for us. Uh, within ten minutes, I knew I had made the right decision because the the speed of the cut. Uh, they, they told us to expect about 50% 50, 50 faster cut. I think we were seeing closer to 90% faster cut. In some cases, 100% twice the speed on some thinner uh, aluminums and steels. So I was, and, and we had, that first job we had set up was a 3 8 invar. So it was a tough material. Uh, it is a steel and uh, it was, cutting at almost twice the speed that we were used to. And the cutting heads that KMT provided to us are a, uh, they're a unit. They're not the standard heads we've been used to where you can take them apart and there's, you know, pieces inside or uh, orifices that get changed out and you put them back together. This is a, a permanently assembled unit and it's guaranteed and it really does produce a, a, a very narrow curve, uh, the width of the cut. And it's something that we've struggled with for the entire 17, 18 years is trying to keep a good focused stream so that we could hold tolerances. And so that took care of an additional problem for us because now all of a sudden we can hold tolerances and uh, it just, we noticed that the taper also much less. And when you're working with thicker materials, five inches, eight inches thick steel, when you get those parts cut, they've got to be clean. Uh, with the new pressure and the new pumps, the new cutting heads, uh, we're able to achieve a substantial difference. Um, along with that, we were able to lower our prices a little bit to our customers yet increase our profit margin at the same time. And so I'm very happy with that as well. Uh, we're using 40% uh, less horsepower, 50% less abrasive, and at least 50% less water, probably less than that even. Uh, it, everything about the upgrade makes sense from a business standpoint. Anytime that a business can save 15%, 10-15% uh, is something that somebody should, a business should definitely consider how to get there. But when you're looking at saving 50%, like what we are figuring that we are saving now, at least 50%, then it's a no-brainer. No you, you have to do it. The fact that the horsepower of the machine itself is, um, we're going from 100 horsepower to 60 and uh, running it less hours using less garnet. My lead times are faster. My customers appreciate that as well. Um, these new pumps are just incredible. 
the technology that is out there now. They're very componentized. They're, if something goes wrong, it's pretty easy to figure out what's wrong and it's pretty easy to fix them. If I was to buy another machine, if I was to buy a new machine, there's, I would figure out how to spend that little bit of extra money because it's not a, when you're talking about a new machine and you'll make up for, you'll make that money back in six months, honestly.